This is supposedly color changing filament and uh, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys and we'll find out if it actually does change colors. Um, and please stick around and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this at the Micro Center and I think I got it on sale for about $11. And uh, it's PLA, you can print it at a range from like 195 degrees Celsius to 230 degrees Celsius, something like that. I print around 230 degrees Celsius. And uh, yeah, so this filament, I actually have a piece right here, it's super brittle. And I've noticed that with uh, filament that you've had around longer that um, usually tends to be um, more brittle than other filaments. Some of the filament, uh, some filament I have, it's uh, super brittle, and this I've noticed is also very brittle. So this is super brittle filament. Uh, you see, I could just break it off like that, like very brittle, and uh, I've broken off many pieces so far in the course of making this video because it's just that brittle. Uh, it also has a different texture than normal PLA. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has PLA that's kind of glossy, uh, but the filament I use uh, is a little bit glossier than this. It feel This feels like kind of like sandy. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to show you some things I printed. Of course I printed a gear cube. I usually print this for every filament. Uh, review that I do except for exotic filament and uh, this came out pretty well. I did have a fail though before and that's because I tried printing an old version of this and uh, it was just an old file sitting on an SD card that I had and uh, yeah that was an issue. Um, I also printed out some gears right here um, and if you have seen my Tallman uh, bridge nylon filament review I'll have a link up here or a little uh, video up there that you can click on. Uh, so I made a gear out of uh, nylon and that turned out well and now I have these so that's cool. And then um, I also printed out uh, this but this is well I printed out one of these I'll show you a clip of it right now. Uh, I printed this uh, filament tube guide for my flash forge out um, of this new filament so that's pretty cool. And then I have these two. So these were my test subjects for uh, the color changing because uh, these are the ones that I left out for a while to uh, see if these change color. And uh, these prints came out pretty well. Um, so um, I'm happy overall with uh, the filament quality, except for the fact that it doesn't change color. Um, even though it says it does, it doesn't. It slightly does even, um, and it only slightly changes color after you leave this filament out for at least a day, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and it loses that color super quickly too, and uh, it, it's pretty annoying. I left this out for about a day, and it slightly changed to red. Uh, and I'm very disappointed with how this turned out, and I'm kind of angry because it was super misleading. I know it was kind of cheap filament, but um, I was excited for color changing filament, and uh, I didn't get it. So I was a little disappointed. So I'd recommend this filament um, unless you want it for the color changing uh, properties. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty good filament to print with. It's fairly cheap also. I think it was just $15 on its own and then I got it on sale for like 11 or something. But otherwise, this is pretty good filament. Um, it, it's, it's just not good at changing colors. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stick around for more videos and subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. All my links are down below in the description. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.